I like to call VMware one of the kings of the cloud. From Silicon Valley to software in the cloud, VMware is taking share and going where few dare. But with its head in the cloud, can this digital giant reign on? You know the cloud, meaning the switch to software you access via the web is one of the greatest growth stories around. So while we're out in San Francisco, we've been checking in on as many of the cloud kings as we can because these companies are leading the charge. Take VMware, the virtualization company that pioneered much of the technology that makes data centers so powerful, which is why they've become a major cloud infrastructure play. Now, the stock has gained nearly 25% for the year, although that move's been a bit rocky as Dell still owns a controlling interest in VMware, and they were considering gobbling up the whole company before finally putting that plan on ice. I think this stock has more room to run. But beyond that, this company has its finger on the pulse of the cloud infrastructure space like no one else. Don't just take it from me. Uh, earlier this week, we spoke with Sanjay Poonin. He's the chief operating officer of VMware to find out what's next for this fabulous company. Take a look. Mr. Poonin, welcome back to Mad Money. Jim, always a pleasure. Thanks Sanjay, for since me. I've been following you, I recognize that VMware, which was a company, frankly, I thought maybe had been left behind, has really had a renaissance. And I think it's because you've tapped into how the cloud really works and how to make it less expensive for all sorts of companies. So maybe you could just walk our viewers through who still say to me, Jim, if I knew what that king did, I'd own the stock. You know, uh, Jim, you're absolutely right. The story of VMware is actually profound. Studies have shown that a dollar spent on VMware resulted in $10 of economic value. So over our 20 year lifetime, we've accumulated about 50 billion of revenue, maybe a half a trillion worth of value. And I brought my little shirt here to demonstrate our story. You know, why not have a little TV moment? Sure, why not? And on the left hand side here, you see the data center. The software defined data center is what we invented okay. to make the on-premise world look like a cloud. We call it the private cloud. Okay. But the world is now moving to the public cloud. And in this world of hybrid cloud, VMware has now become relevant. The same with the desktop, the top part going mobile. So what customers were asking from us, for us is, I see why you're relevant to here, which right. is the left side of history, but how are you relevant to the future of history, which is cloud, mobile, security? And two years ago, we made a pivot in the company to embrace the public cloud, announced our seminal partnership with Amazon, and that was a turning point for this company. We okay. moved those headwinds of the public cloud to become tailwinds for us, and now we're beginning to see the future of VMware. Now, ironically, customers are not just spending on cloud mobile security, but also on our traditional on-premise business, which is great. Well, I think that it's very important, one of the reasons why I've liked your stock so much. Not a lot of companies have unbelievably good, unblemished relationships with Amazon. How did that whole thing come about? Because that may be the fastest growing part of a company that many of our viewers own. Well, Amazon's a very special company, and clearly the number one in the public cloud. Andy Jassy was a classmate of mine at business school. Pat, my boss, the CEO, Andy, myself, and a few others at VMware got together and said, listen, we had a business in the public cloud called vCloud Air. We decided to invest, and we felt if we could create this partnership with them that was very special. And we don't do Barney partnerships, just a Mickey Mouse press release. <laughs> I mean, the reality no, is And I have to tell you, Sanjay, I've, 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 out here, I hear a lot of them, and, and I just say, that's not real, and then it turns out they're not. You know, and the way in which you can tell a real partnership is there's deep engineering, there's deep sales collaboration, there's deep marketing, and all those fronts. We meet on a quarterly basis, Andy, Pat, myself, and we basically look at our teams, and sometimes you can't even tell where an Amazon engineer and a VMware engineer are apart from each other. Our events, there's about 100,000 people who come to all the VMware events of right. the Including probably the one you just had, the VM VMworld. VMworld, right? So uh, Amazon people there? 100, yeah, there were Amazon people, Andy Jassy was on stage. Okay. 150,000 people come to their events. If we can take those 250,000 people and make them joint events, when we collaborate in the sales force, um, you know, Andy or his head of sales can text me. We have very, very strong relationships and that's resulting in you know, momentum for both of us in the market. Are there a lot of companies that are saying, look, I got to figure out how to get into this world. I keep reading that Amazon Web Service will save me money. Uh, how do I do it? And, and they find their way to you because of say, uh, IT consulting? Exactly. Okay. Indispensably, we are the king of the private cloud. Okay. That sort of world that exists on premise right. uh, and in, in managed types of clouds. As customers make their journey into the public cloud, they want the elastic capabilities of saying, maybe I want to just shut down my data centers and expand using the hardware of the new economy. Uh, Amazon, and that's what we've been able to brilliantly engineer in this sort of hybrid cloud journey. Okay, uh, we talked, we had Brinks on recently. Maybe you can walk me through what we think they were brilliant. We thought that, that people see the trucks. No, they are a very sophisticated, digitized cash management and, and valuable as, uh, asset management company. What do they need VMware for? 
brings to the special company, as you talked about, they're looking to not just take care of cash, but disrupt themselves. What's the future of the truck? What's the future of digital cash? What's the future of blockchain? And if they could just run their IT operations securely in a managed fashion, reduce their data centers. So their CIO was actually on stage at VMworld and talk about how they first built a private cloud using our software-defined storage products uh, and compute virtualization, and now using our Amazon relationship, are building VMware Cloud on Amazon, and have been able to reduce their data centers dramatically. And that helps them save costs and improve ROI. Now, now they get back to focusing on their business, and we make the infrastructure just run. Now I know I wanted to ask you about Dell. I understand that's in flux. Can't talk about, is my understanding. Yeah, listen, we focus on what we can focus right. on, which is the long-term growth of this company, and that's going well, and Dell's been an incredible partner to help accelerate our growth. Right. And, but I do want to give you a chance, I've been out at Salesforce, lots of it is education, it's not a trade show. You too believe in education, it's your passion. It's absolutely. I think people used to go to old trade shows, maybe consumer, boat shows, just to buy stuff. Right. These are not selling events anymore. They are education and inspirational events. So at VMworld, we talked a lot about our future. Pat gave a brilliant talk on day one. I took the keynote on day two. And then we had a special guest speaker for the first time, Malala Yousafzai, who is a Nobel Peace Prize winner. And you know her story. She was shot as a young kid, and she is focused on young girls in her education. And I had people, big men, crying at the end of this thing. It was just amazing to hear how inspirational her passion for education. I believe that if you are doing well, which is right. VMware, right. you should also be doing good. And that's part of our mission. And I'm so glad you said because that has been a, our major theme this year, because it's okay to feel that way and to talk like that. And that is Sanjay Poonin. He's the Chief Operating Officer of VMware. Hopefully you understand why I think this is such an important cloud king and Mad Money's back in. Right. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.